The blockchain is not only integral to how Litecoin and cryptocurrencies as a whole works, but it looks to be the most secure way to store all kinds of information, from land ownership to even the human genome. So what exactly is the blockchain? In its purest form, the blockchain is simply just a public ledger and store of information which is effectively tamper resistant, but by no means is Litecoin the only blockchain out there. The first blockchain was publicly released on the 3rd of January 2009 as part of a Bitcoin software by its creator, Satoshi Nakamoto. Its job, just like the Litecoin blockchain, is to keep track of every single transaction on the network that occurs between users and store them in a chain of blocks, hence the name blockchain. Information is added to a blockchain by mining. When someone sends a transaction, they broadcast it out across the network. This transaction is then stored in something called a memory pool, or mempool for short, where it is checked as valid and added to the most recently generated block along with any other transactions. These blocks are generated every two and a half minutes on average for the Litecoin network, so some may end up holding more transaction information than others. This two and a half minutes is also known as the confirmation time, as it is the rate at which these blocks are solved and the transactions within them are confirmed by miners. When the block is confirmed and others have verified it, it and the transactions within it are finally added onto a chain and broadcast back out across the network for everyone to see. When a new node or Litecoin client connects to the network, they sync the blockchain from another random full node on the network at that time. Once they finish up exchanging this information, the new full node will then be allowed to create transactions, see the list of transactions both in and out of addresses, and check the balances of those addresses. The more nodes there are on the network, the more copies of the blockchain exist, in turn creating a more distributed database. This means there is zero downtime on the blockchain, because if a node were to go down, there will always be another super node to take its place which others can connect to. In order for someone to actually corrupt the blockchain, they would need to be creating these blocks to a faster rate than the real network. This would require them to have over 51% of the network under their control, otherwise known as a 51% attack. Eventually, if kept up for long enough, they would end up creating a new chain which is longer than the original and would become accepted as the new and chosen chain. Of course, as the chain grows and more information is added to it over time, it is foreseeable that in the future many people simply won't have the storage capacity to hold all that information. However, options such as Lightvault and Electrum exist, which work by storing the blockchain on a secure server which users can connect to in order to send transactions. Monetary transactions aren't the only things that can actually be stored in the blockchain. Users have been adding data into existing chains for a while now. These include things such as a tribute to Nelson Mandela, Valentine's Day messages, Catholic prayers, a tribute to the cryptographer Len Sassaman, WikiLeaks Cablegate data, and even a message from Bitcoin's creator within the very first block, which states the title of the Times newspaper on the day that Bitcoin was released. Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks. This is of course just the start. Projects such as Alexandria are using the blockchain to create a digital library of books music, videos and photographs, Namecoin uses it to register domain names and websites, and others are looking to use it to run land registries and even election voting to prevent fraud, to name but a few. It is still very early days for blockchain technology, and its potential uses have only just began to be explored, with Litecoin and cryptocurrency being the most popular and revolutionary among those. However, as more interest flows into cryptocurrency and the technology behind it, we can only expect greater things to come of it in the future. Thanks, Satoshi. Oh,